Hi everyone, welcome to Coffee Table Talks. Mm, that's good. I'm Pastor John Bell, and today I'd like to talk to you about, is the Bible relevant for today? That's a good question. Is the Bible just uh, ancient stories with ancient people and ancient cultures uh, that don't have any uh, relevance for us today? Or is the Bible something that um, has truth for us today? Uh, is Has culture progressed to a certain point where it's progressed past the Bible? Or is the Bible something that bears and shares sheds light on us today? So uh, in Matthew 20... Four, verse 35, it says that heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. In Isaiah 40, verse 8, it says the grass withers, the flower fades, but my word will stand forever. So to answer the question, is the Bible relevant for today? There's nothing more relevant than the Bible because the Bible is timeless. The Bible is outside of time. The Bible is written for every generation, and although we have fads and theories and philosophies and things that come and go, the Word of God has been consistent and will be consistent for all eternity. Uh, it's good to know and understand what the Bible really is. The Bible is a living book. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it says that the Word of God is living and active. And the reason it says that is because the, the Bible is a spiritual book. It's alive. It's written by a God who's alive, who's active. It's written by one, Jesus Christ, the Word of God, who is sitting at the right hand of the Father, resurrected from the dead, and the Holy Spirit who resides inside the believer. So it's a living book, and those who read it, as believers, especially with the Holy Spirit, you read it uh, with this uh, strange feeling like the one who wrote the book is sitting right beside you, imparting truth to you in real time. The Bible gives us answers to life's biggest questions, uh, how we got here, where we're going, um, gives us answers about good and evil, about heaven and hell, about marriage and family, about children. It gives us um, answers to things like um, how we should live our life. And that's really the, the most important thing about the Bible. It tells us as man how to rightly live the way we are designed by God in tune with God. So that's the big question. Now, the Bible also answers the questions of everyday life. Some of the biggest questions, some of the, the questions that, that we face um, now in life. And I'm going to give you eight of those to help us to understand the relevancy of the Bible now in real time. So number one, is the Bible relevant for today? Uh, number one reason, yes, for yes, is truth. The Bible is truth. It is the standard of truth. What is truth? Truth is what is. Truth is reality. The Bible gives us God's reality. It's basically God unfolding his heart and mind, revealing that to man so man can walk in the truth. Now, without the Bible, without the standard of truth, then what do we do? We walk around blindly in a way where we don't know what's right or wrong, and then we try to find reasons and answers for right and wrong, for truth, and, and we look to normally the world or to ourselves, where we're not going to find truth. So number one, the, why is the Bible relevant? Is because it is the source of of all truth. Number two is the Bible's relevant because of direction. The Bible gives us a direction. Um, in Psalm 119, verse 105, it says, The word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, indicating that it's God's word that teaches us where to go, how to go. It teaches us direction. It tells us there's a direction. It tells us there's a certain way that we're to live our life and the Bible continually gives us light until unto us and how we are to live in the direction that we should go in life. Number three, why is the Word of God relevant to today? It's because it gives us purpose and meaning. The Word of God tells us that things are not random, we are not random, but 
We are very purposeful as human beings, having very much meaning for our existence in this world. The Bible tells us and gives us the reason for our existence, bringing about great meaning for human beings in this world. Uh, point number four is success. The Bible tells us how to be successful. In Joshua 1.8, it says, God saying to Joshua, don't let the word of God depart from your mouth so that you may be prosperous and have good success. And the meaning of that is really not necessarily just um, worldly, um, monetary, material success, but what that's saying is if you follow me, you will, your life will be lived in the way that it's been designed to, to be lived. You will be successful in living out the purposes that God has for your life. And that's where human beings have their most meaning, living their life out the way God has designed it. So the word of God ensures that we will have success in life. Number five, hope. So we need hope today. Is that relevant to have hope today? In Romans chapter 5, verse 5, it says that hope does not disappoint. And this is talking about godly hope. This is talking about a hope where it's assurance of a future reality. It's not a, a maybe, a question mark, I hope this happens or this happens. It's a hope that's anchored and you know what's going to happen in the future and you know the one who holds your future. So the word of God is relevant in that it gives us real hope. And I think that's very relevant. Uh, point number six, strength. The word of God strengthens us. In John 2, 14, it talks about if we uh, abide in him, the word of God abides in us. That makes us strong. So it gives us strength to live out our day, um, to live out our life here on the earth. The word of God strengthens us. And uh, that kind of leads me into my next point. Uh, point number seven, why is the word of God relevant? In Matthew chapter four, Jesus says the word of God is um, like bread for our soul, that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So the word of God is nourishing our inner person. Is that relevant for today to be nourished in our inner person, to have our spirit and our soul nourished? That's very relevant and very important. Okay. And then finally, point number eight is the word of God brings about happiness. That sounds like maybe something that maybe doesn't fit in here. But the Bible is very concerned about our happiness. In Psalm chapter one, verse one, it says, Blessed, which means happy, is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. He'll meditate on it day and night. Then he shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water. That word blessed, as I said, it means happy. So now a lot of times people will pursue happiness, but in reality, happy is a direct function of man being directly, rightly related to God. And so putting this all together, um, is the Bible relevant for today? The Bible is the standard for relevancy. Um, things will come and go generation after generation. The word of God will stand forever. And so trust in the Lord with all of your heart and trust as you read your Bible that it is the most relevant thing. And man's ideas, philosophies, traditions, whatever, those will all pass away. But the one thing will not, will not pass away is the word of God. God bless you guys and we'll talk to you soon.